So anyway, you guys probably don't hear it through my accent, but I'm from Belgium. Europe. I know, exotic. I know, I know. I know. For those of you guys who don't know where Belgium is, it's a country in Europe where kids go to school to get educated, not to get shot. I had to do that one. I had to. I'm so sorry, I had to. All I hear about is kids getting shot in this country. God. So anyway, yeah, and I don't really have a European accent. Even though in Belgium they do teach us British English, I have a problem with that accent. It sounds like they're choking on a Nigerian dick when they're talking. I can't. I really can't. So yeah, since from a very young age, I was just, my teacher were teaching me a British English and I was just answering with whatever accent I have right now. I had a teacher who was actually Scottish, not even British. They have this rolling R thing going on. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Scottish accent, but they have a rolling R. And again, I have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Rolling R's and lisps. When I hear a rolling R or a lisp, this part of my body immediately says gay. <laughs> so I run away. <laughs> yeah. I think it all started with this job. Oh yeah, by the way, I quit my job five months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> so yeah, I quit my job five months ago and it was because I had this manager, he had a rolling R and a lisp and I hated him. And after three years working there, I still didn't get the promotion that I wanted. So he was like, hey, city, we're going to send you to Spain. I was like, okay. Because I was getting verbally aggressive towards my colleagues and the management. So he's like, we're going to send you to Spain for a month because they need help over there. Help. I was working in luxury fashion. So anyway, I went to Spain. I was like, whatever, YOLO, let's go to Spain. I get there. Girls. I get in my apartment. Get in my bedroom. Huge bed. Private bathroom. Jacuzzi next to my bed. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have so much sex in this country. Mi casa is su casa. That's what I wrote on my Twitter account. I was like, yes! So anyway, I start swiping, right? I see this cute guy. His name was Derek. Hey, do you wanna go for drinks? I'm like, okay, whatever, let's go for drinks. I get there, he was English. Y'all know how I get with English accents. But then again, I really wanted to use that jacuzzi. So I just got drunk. He got drunk, we got drunk. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be a good night. Bonnie, we're gonna use that jacuzzi, yes! So after those drinks, um, he got UK wasted, which is different than Belgian wasted. Belgian wasted, we can still st walk straight, pronounce things. UK wasted is not such a thing. So anyway, we're walking, I'm like, so Derek, um, what shall we do next? And he's like, I just want you to sit on my face. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, excuse me? Yeah, I just want you to sit on my face and just ride it. <laughs> okay, so Derek, um, I'm gonna go to my casa, who is not gonna be so casa tonight. Thank you. Bye. Continue swiping. And you know what? I was like, I'm in Spain. Maybe I should try that Spanish chorizo. So I talked to Raul. You were nodding. Yeah. So I talked to Raul, Spanish chorizo. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna start to talk to Raul. He had a picture with a surfboard on the beach. I love the beach. So I was like, okay, we can love the beach together. He had another picture on his Tinder account with kids. Okay, maybe he's a family person. Maybe he's a pedophile, <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, Raul is like, hey, I'm going to this party. Do you wanna come with me? I'm like, okay, let's go. I meet him at this party. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to Spain, but if a Spanish guy tells you to go to a party, um, ask him if it's a party or a feria, because there's a difference. A feria is a town party outside in a little village. They play Spanish music very loud. Uh, it smells like dried sangria and sardines. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And uh, then he starts dancing and he does this Spanish thing. So I'm like, stop. <laughs> Please stop. So he's like, oh, is it because they don't play hip hop? I'm like, no, I just, I'm just not into that Spanish music. So he's like, hey, if you want later, they're going to play hip hop. I can ask, because I know he's my cousin. The DJ, he's my cousin. He asked, another thing, girls, if a Spanish guy tells you he's gonna play Spanish um, hip hop, it's not hip hop, they're gonna play Daddy Yankee. <laughs> you don't wanna hear that. Anyway, so he's like, hey, if you want to sit down, let's go to my table. So we go to his table. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna meet his friends. Let's hope that he has a cuter friend. Go to his table. He's like, okay, so this is my mother, my father, my tia, my abuelo, my abuelita. 
This is my cousin Pilar. This is my cousin Raquel, and this is my brother Miguel. Okay, so how did I go from sitting on a face to meeting a family? <laughs> Like, what's up with this country? I just want to use that fucking jacuzzi. <laughs> Why? So anyway, and then comes the other part, the part where he presents me to his family. And again, I don't have, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, I don't have a basic name, you know? I'm not a Sarah. <laughs> My name is Serene. <laughs> I have a beautiful Arabic name, Serene. Can y'all pronounce Serene? Serene. You see, not common, but beautiful. So anyway, he's like talking to his abuelo, abuelita, tia, tío, cousin, everybody's like, eh, 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 es ferin. Ferin. Motherfucker put a lisp and a rolling R in my name. I was like, Raul, I'm sorry, I have to go home. You see, I have a medical problem. He's like, hey, you need to go to the hospital. I'm like, no, you see, I need to go home because, um, I need to moisturize. <laughs> yeah, it's totally dried up right now. I really, I got to go. Anyway guys, this was my first time in New York. Thank you. Woo!